Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brad Hur. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is rebuilding a Victor exhibition or number two reproducer, but things you need to look at. And one thing you need to look at is your needle bar here. And there's a slot right here that these two points fit into. And this fits in here. And they fit in there. So what you do when you rebuild, you can see it, I've taken my illustrious X-Acto tool I use, this one, and I've cleaned out the slot. But when you look at that slot, that slot's full of crud. Where? Down in here. You clean this out. Because you get dirt and crap in there over a hundred years. The other thing is, when you have your reproducer apart, you can see this one here. And you see this nipple that comes up? That's where the needle bar fits. But you see how the sharp point is right there? That's where it fits into the needle bar. And you have to make sure that those aren't rounded off. This one was kind of rounded off, so I'm taking my diamond file or any jeweler's file, and I'll refile those down to a point so they fit in to the needle bar slot. And one other thing I want to show you. You see how beautiful that mica looks on, the, on this exhibition reproducer? And you see how dirty this one looks. So how do I fix this? Well, you fix this with this stuff called Neverdoll. And you take a piece of the wadded cloth, and you take your finger, you put it on a flat piece, and you go Because you got to realize this mica has a hundred years of crud on it, and we have to get it off. Then you're going to take a nice t shirt or something. And that sound you hear is my illustrious neighbor with his Stellan mustache. Now look at it. Oh, it looks brand new. Looks brand new. I will go back and I'll clean these edges off. And this helps take weight off the reproduce off the mica because we got a whole bunch of hundred year old dirt, sweat, spit, whatever happened to this poor old exhibition reproducer. And these are things to look at. And once you're done rebuilding, let's say this Victor II, and you go, how do I know it sounds good? Well, I'll hold this up to the camera, and you rub your finger on the needle screw here, right here, where you tighten the screw up, and listen. Wow, you hear that? That's how you can tell it has a nice, sharp tone to it, and it will play well. You know, this is a lot of fun. I just like pointing cool little things out to you, and that's my tip for the day.